Speaker fun rhyme. This here's a blubber schmuck. Glue got sloppy on me, Big D. Come on. Yeah, I've been there, Max, for sure, for sure. By golly. Kind of casein smear let down. Come on. Yeah, 10 4 to the hobby store. Hey, welcome back to Peppy Tinkers. And here I am today with my very first big rig kit Kenworth W900. I wanted something special for the paint job and I wanted to try out some of the Createx candy paints. So a while back you might remember I did a bunch of spoons and I chose this copper to be my base coat. This is the uh, Createx copper and I put a nice shiny coat on it. Look at that. It looks like a brand new penny. And I liked the lightning decals, but I didn't want them to be white, and I didn't want them to be decals. So, I airbrushed some lightning bolts on it. First in black, and those show up pretty good, but I also did them in gold as well. And the gold is very hard to see. I thought, man, that's going to just pop out in the sun. Might not show under the fluorescent lights, but it's going to just pop out in the sun once I get this candy red on and that's what I'm using here the candy 2.0 uh, uh, from createx so I sprayed that on and that black was just making those lightning bolts shine but where's the gold I thought well okay maybe it's just not the gold just isn't showing up in under the fluorescent shop lights. All right, well, we'll just go ahead and do that. And then I took it out in the sun, and it was still no bueno. My gold lightning bolts disappeared. So I had to scuff it all up and airbrush some more lightning bolts on it in gold on top of the red. And that's what I did here. I don't have quite as many as I did the first time, but... I was hoping something would show through anyways. So, after a lot more work, here she is in all of her final glory. With that copper base and that candy red on top of it with some black and gold airbrushed lightning bolts on it. Oh, wow, she does look great out in the sun. And I've got mixed thoughts about this being my first semi kit it looks as good as I hoped it to as good as I hoped it would love all the chrome on it except for a couple places the seam the stacks and the big old chrome gas tanks they had seams that were just so prominent I, I couldn't I couldn't leave them like that so I stripped them and fixed the seams and this was my first time using the outclad chrome on them maybe I should have used the Molotov pen but I wanted to try the chrome since it, it had been around for a while and some people talked really good about it as you can see that doesn't look too anywhere near as chrome as the other stuff maybe I did something wrong maybe I needed to polish it or something but I'm, I'm still reasonably pleased with it. It looks better than it did it would have looked if I hadn't have fixed those seams. You can see I did the interior in a nice tan and black. Not so. Oops! I forgot to put some close-ups of the interior being built. I might have those somewhere. They might be in the back of the thing. I even flocked the bed on the inside of the cab. You can only see it when the sun's shining just the right way in it. But there is flocking, so it looks like a nice fuzzy bed. Overall, the kit wasn't bad, but it wasn't great e either. Some of the things just did not fit right, and it kept I kept feeling like I was going to break the cab trying to put it into its slots on the frame it 
it was real touchy with some of the pieces like that and especially those mirrors you have to be very careful with those mirrors when you put them in they they the holes aren't big enough or the tabs on the mirrors are too long too thick I just wasn't all that great with, with it and I don't know if this was me or not but while the the hood is supposed to tilt open I couldn't get it to open up the rest of the way after I put the air cleaners on it that could be user error after all this is my first semi kit and I could have had something a little bit wrong in there but anyways I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this I hope you guys enjoyed it too and I'm gonna have some more pictures at the end of this so that you can get some better looks as long as Tyrone quits whining if you liked it leave me a comment Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you next time on Pappy Tinkers. Oh, maker fun rhyme. This here's a blubber schmuck. Blue got sloppy on me, Big D. Come on. Yeah, I've been there, Max, for sure, for sure. By golly. Kind of casein smear let down. Come on. Yeah, 10 4 to the hobby store there, Big D. Yeah, I'll meet you at the front door, good buddy. Percy takes a drive. Looks like we're buying a car toy. It was the afternoon and opportune to head to the hobby shop. I was running low on Tamiya glue about down to my very last drop. I was building the kit right out of the box and was almost set to prime. I said, dang man, but I'm out of sand and sticks and that's just a doggone crime. Cause he got a brand new model